So my phone died on part one, now we're on part two. Uh, I left off with, um, I was going to show you how the key fob can roll up the windows on the car and the sunroof as well. So here you see all the windows are down. That is as far as the rear window comes down. That's normal, that's not a defect. Uh, Mercedes stopped it there because I don't think it can go down into the body of the car that far due to the rear wheel well. Um, some some design factor anyway. Um, so you can see the sunroof is open, the windows are open all the way through on the other side. We'll kind of walk around and give you a look at how the pillarless windows look when they're down. Pretty sharp man, It's it, it allows for a good view into the car too if you're in a downtown you know situation with a lot of people around they can really see how beautiful the interior of the car is. You can see the burl wood, wood grain runs all the way through into the uh, back seat section which ties in nice with the center console and in the front. Anyway, so here's the key fob. There's the, uh, the transmitter I guess you would call it or the receptor. So I'm just going to hold this button down and it's going to lock the car and roll the windows up. I'm going to go to the other side because the sun is shining on this side. All sealed up at the press of a button and the car is locked. You can also do that um, at the in the back of the trunk. You don't have to stand there. You can aim it at that transmitter or you can stick the key into the the door locks or the trunk lock and turn it to the right and hold it and it'll do the same exact function, roll everything up. So anyway, I'm going to go on to the um, also when the car is locked you cannot access the gas cap so I'm gonna go over here it flashes green it's unlocked gas tap opens right up this is pretty cool nice place to hold the cap while you're putting your gas in premium un unleaded fuel only and that closes with just a turn and that's closed so when it's unlocked you can get it when it's locked you can't get it so now we're going to show you the passenger side and the everything works over here we'll start with the um, the doors same thing over here just want to kind of kiss it up and you can see that that all closes I'll do it again so we're going to I'll do the windows this time kiss it up and it just seals up so all that works one last time nice little angle here you can see it seals so very uh, neat feature kind of dealing with the sunlight now here too so shadows um, got your three way memory seats again or three different individuals can, or three different seating positions I should say. Same thing over here as it was on the passenger side. I'm gonna do the, um, that's a lot brighter over here so it's gonna be tough to see. There's the headrest. There's sliding the seat forward. Let's see if I can Sliding the seat back, sliding the cushion forward, it's actually all the way forward, so we're going to bring it back, oh, there it goes, back, there it goes forward, there it goes back again, here's the seat back, seat back, that works uh, let's see what else do we got over here 
think that's about it from this side. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back around to the driver's side. There's your lumbar. You can dial it in from zero being weak on up to five being strong. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My assistant. <laughs> right here. I'm going to put it in reverse and we're going to show that these little... Keep your eye on those, alright? Okay. There's one. And the other one works. Go back down. And I forgot one more function when I was in here. Um, see.